gonna go ahead and stick my makeup on. I'm gonna show y'all what I've been doing lately. <laughs> I put on my moisturizer on my face and I use some serum that's Mary Kay. I've already got my moisturizer on. And so I put the serum around my eyes. Just kind of around my eyes and there. Now all I do is I take my Wet n Wild from Dollar General and I use the stick and this is, I can't remember what number this is. Anyway, it's a stick and it says um, conceal. So it's really just concealer and I go under each eye. I hit this highlight here and I always hit this age spot over here. I come down my nose like that and I hit it here. Those are the parts of your face you want to kind of highlight. In the summer, I get outside on the boat a good bit and even if I'm a redhead, I get a little bit of color. And so I don't really use foundation in the summer because it's hot and it makes you sweat. I just use this concealer. If you use a moisturizer, make sure you get, get one that's, uh, that your face can breathe and it don't get all sweaty from it. They have a name for it. I'll look it up and tell you what that's called. And then I just blend this in around my eyes with just a regular sponge blender type thing. If not soft in cloth, it's like what my mama used to use when I was a kid with her Elizabeth Arden makeup. You can get them in a package at Walmart, a whole pack of them for nearly nothing. I like these better than the triangles. Now I've put my makeup on all different kinds of ways. I've used uh, brushes, different types of brushes for foundation. I've used the powder foundation, which I don't like because my skin's already so dry. Really, that's all I do, y'all. And I know it looks a little yellow in a couple of spots, but I'm so redheaded, that's okay. Okay? And now all I do is I put on my lip primer. That's Mary Kay. It's the best. MAC makes one. And you can find these on my beauty tab. It keeps my lips from bleeding up my face. This new lip liner is Thrive. It's something that a viewer sent me. She sent me several things that's Thrive, and I have not put those on my website, but I need to so that y'all can see how great they do. So we're going to put this on. Let me just see if I can do it with this. Now, I have thin lips, so I don't go anywhere with that lip liner on if I'm wearing my makeup. Now, I almost fill in my lips with the liner, leaving just a little bit off here and here. Now, let me look at it in my little mirror make sure I haven't made any mistakes. This one needs to go up a little higher. And I do paint over my lips just a little bit. Because they're so thin, just like my mom's, okay? Now I'm going to use just some cheap lip uh, stuff that I bought online. And I, I mean, it's fine. It's like a frosty pink. Lips are my favorite things to do first. Okay, I'm not wearing any shadow. I, I hardly ever have a lately in the summer. So what I do is I just grab my blush brush and I just use Maybelline. This is actually Revlon and the color is 011. I would have to look at the number to tell y'all what color it is. 
but it is called Sultry Sienna. I like to use Siennas because Siennas are colors that look good with browns, reds, or pinks. They got a little bit of a tone in them to be any of those. If you're big like me and you have a fat face, then you should do a circle right there on your cheek. And make sure you smile. And then just go up the sides a little bit. That's all you have to do. You can put a little around your face if you want to. Uh, but you notice I didn't dip that again because I don't want that to be too red. I'm already a redhead. So now I'm just going to put on a little eyeliner. I use Stila. I don't never. Stila. And I used to use Stila uh, mascara until this lady sent me the Thrive mascara. Oh my gosh, it does great. I just take this. And put it right around the edges. Of my eyes. And sometimes I put a little bit down in the bottom. But you don't have to. Most of the time it comes off if you do. Now we're going to put on the mascara. And this is the Thrive Mascara. And it is wonderful. It's waterproof, so I do use something that gets it off, and I had to take it off at night. You had to take off waterproof, because if you don't, it can turn into little bitty pieces and get in your eye if you're not careful. I always go back once I get that first coat on and I brush and I brush and I brush. But notice I haven't double dipped or anything. How's that look? Alright, let's do the other one. And if you want to put on two coats, if you don't have long eyelashes like I do, put on two coats. They say for women not to put any on the bottom. And if you have eyelashes that just kind of clump together and there's just a few of them and it looks like you got like big fat lashes but there's just a few, that's not very pretty. So try to brush it out with your lash brush. Or just don't wear mascara. Just put on the eyeliner. I'll, just wearing the eyeliner would look better than big clumps above your eyes. Now, after I put it on, I do um, take a Q-tip. And I look in the mirror and I get off anything that's above and below that has gotten, you know, that's ugly. Like that. My favorite way to do eyebrows is just to use a, a brow brush that, you know, like buy some brown mascara and just put a little brown mascara on them. If you don't have any eyelashes, then you got to use a pencil. And the pencil that I use, because I'm a redhead, if you do the lightest auburn, is made by, um, if I'm using a pencil, most of the time I just brush them with some mascara. Um, it's just auburn NYX professional and different, different, uh, brands have different colors of an Auburn, but not all of them have Auburn. And really, the fronts of mine, the 
starts of them have plenty of hair. It's this part that don't. It, what I did yesterday is um, put mascara on them. And I'm out of brown mascara, but I didn't care. I just put it on there. Watch. Like that. We'll see. Well, let's put on our glasses. I need to wash my glasses off. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial on how I do my hair and my makeup. It's simple. I don't put on a whole lot. Um, these scissors are called Equinox, okay? And they have a gold, um, this is gold right here, but I'm gonna try and get them on there. I think they're in my beauty tabs already, but I'll make sure today that they are there. And I'll also add Thrive if I can get it online. I don't know if I can or not. I think you can, if y'all are interested in this mascara. See it up close? I think I, I do like it better than the gold. Now I'm gonna run in here and get some earrings because I'm wearing black today. Let's turn the light on. I'm probably making y'all dizzy. I got on black today, so I'll probably wear my circles. I don't have any jewelry that's like real and authentic. Some of these are Brighton, but not all of them. And all of these right here are, um, for the most part, the paparazzi. Sorry, I'm putting our earrings. Earrings do add to your <sighs> whatever. I noticed that some of my eyelashes are kind of clumped together a little bit. These never look as pretty as these. I think they're longer on this side than they are on this side. Can y'all tell? But what I was saying is if, if they do clump together, use a brush like this and brush them. Uh-oh, not that, but this. And separate them. And it'll get rid of those clumps. I hope you've enjoyed watching Real Southern Woman. If you fix your hair this way, you'll never want to go back the old way. I hope you've enjoyed watching Real Southern Woman. If you fix your hair this way, you'll never want to go back the other way. I'll turn all the way around so y'all can see it. Gets it up off your neck. It's cooler. The minute I take my hair down, I get hot. I take it down at night for Chris. That's really the only reason I have long hairs for him. I hope you've enjoyed watching Real Southern Woman. If you fix your hair this way, you'll never want to go back the other way. I'll turn all the way around so y'all can see it. Gets it up off your neck. It's cooler. The minute I take my hair down, I get hot. I take it down at night for Chris. That's really the only reason I have long hairs for him. Thanks for watching Real Southern Woman, and we will see you next time. Bye, y'all. Love ya.